What would this great sport be without derby passion? Two teams who know plenty about each other, but aren't very fond of each other. And hello from the northwestern part of Spain. We're in San Sebastian at the Estadio de Anoeta. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And we're focusing on, technically speaking, one of the best leagues in the world. I'm talking, of course, about La Liga. It's Real Sociedad, and they take on Athletic Bilbao. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And the lineup for the home side. Well, they're going to play with two wingers in this 4 3 3 formation, so they need to switch the ball quickly and get crosses into the box. But they also need to get at least two midfield players making runs into the penalty area. That's a must. We're getting the ball forward. The supporters want to see him have a go. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. <laughs> Taken short. Nicely timed tackle. And a throw coming up after a really fine piece of tackling. And a look at the lineup for Athletic Bilbao. Yuri Berchiche starts with De Marcos in the fullback positions. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Pesca. Berchiche with it. Muniain. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Bryce Mendes. Now, who can he play it to? Shot attempted able to close down the shots and Real Sociedad will get the throw in well, rather than stop play immediately the referee waited and now decides on a yellow card Bryce Mendes Subimendi just wasn't going to give that ball away now just the tackle that was needed Vivian. Now Ruiz de Galareta. High pressing at its best. Well, Real Sociedad come away with it. Bryce Mendes. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Muniain. Now Ruiz de Galareta. And Real Sociedad have it back now. Lenormand. Athletic sloppy in possession here. And the defenders know they need to get tighter. Subi Mendy. Tione. It's with Oyar Sabal. He's managed to lose his marker. Excellent block. Pulls it back. Body in the way again. So following the deflection, a corner kick.
So the corner played into the box. Nodding it over. Well, he was more determined than his marker, but he just couldn't get it on target, could he? Real Sociedad regaining possession. Can he play it in? Pulls it back. And the danger is averted. Mikel Marino. Now with Muniain. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Muniain. Now with Vertice. Danger averted. And as you can see, it's been all Real Sociedad in the last 15 minutes and created a hat full of chances. But when you're enjoying that amount of possession, you need to make it count. Yes, it might be on for them once more. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. putting pay to the danger so there goes the half-time whistle and it is a story of parity Stuart what have you made of the visitors display well that's another solid defensive display we talked about it before the game but they're just so hard to break down but to win this they must show a bit more quality in the attacking third Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Really determined play to hang on to it. It'll be a Real Sociedad throw. Lenormand. A bit wasteful from Real Sociedad. Guruseta. Bertice. And space to cross it. Go in here for Athletic. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. To take the lead. So following the deflection, a corner kick coming up here. Played over. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. Bertice. On to Mugnain. Sunset. They're relying very much on their passing game in a bid to take the lead. Kubo. How about the cross? And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. But on you go, says the referee. Advantage. So a half an hour remaining. Now, can they hit them on the counter? Well, unfortunately, it fizzled out in the end. 
Moving forward effectively. And striking the post. Well, you have to think they're going to take the lead at some point. Because they're really looking dangerous at the moment. Muniain. And it's a quality pass. Muniain. Great defending. Now in a more than decent position. Bryce Mendes. Lenormand. It's with Oyar Sabal. Stopped a certain goal. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. And Real Sociedad did well to win the ball back. Marino. And he's kept it out. Fully stretched. Somehow reaching it. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. <laughs> Favouring the short one. Took a really smart piece of defending to stop them. Sunset. Herrera. Guruseta. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Mikel Marino trying to get onto the front foot with the minutes ticking away. Can he put them in front? No is the answer to the question. And that could be so important at this stage. Well, will they get another chance? That would surely have won the game for them. And deciding to go short with this one. Pulls it back. Must take the lead here. Just couldn't get it through. Alex Berenguer. Muniain. Could be a chance to break here. Well, the atmosphere is so tense inside this stadium. But can they find that moment of magic to win this game? The crowd certainly thinks so. Just listen to them. And a goal at this stage could be decisive. And the referee allowing the play to flow. And teammates around him. Williams. Happy to take on the shot. And they remain locked together, these two sides, on the back of that save. Well, that keeps it all level. What an important save that is. Well, he's gone into the book. But well, he was late and he deserved a booking for that. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. So the corner played into the box. Well, trying his luck with the header, but too much elevation. And that is that. The 90 minutes have come and gone. Neither side holds the advantage.